present time, it is of paramount importance that the women and girls of our country be given training so that they may do their share in the war emergency. How this training is given and who does it is of great interest to us all. To some of us, the National Youth Administration stands out as the agency which is doing the best job along these lines at present. Therefore, I congratulate Mr. Aubrey Williams on having inaugurated this training, and I congratulate the young people at having this administration with which to work. In the past two years, the National Youth Administration has done much to broaden opportunity for American youth. Today, it is broadening opportunities for service in the training of thousands of young women for war work. Some of this training has been in fields traditionally occupied by women. Thousands of young women are gaining experience in power sewing to meet demands occasioned by the war. Others are being trained in clerical work, in photography, and in poster work. During the training period, they also do productive work for the armed services, for the Red Cross, and for selective service boards. In many cases, they have released men for active duty in the armed forces. During every war, women have comforted the sick and ministered to the suffering. The demand for trained nurses is so great today that assistance is badly needed to relieve them from routine duties in hospital work. The NYA is preparing thousands of young women as hospital aides to take their places as assistants to our technically trained hospital staff. These young women are taking over such tasks as bed making, feeding and care of patients, sterilization of instruments, and assistance in laboratory and x-ray work. The value of NYA hospital aides was demonstrated beyond any doubt after the Pearl Harbor attack when every hospital on Wahoo Island requested their services. Reports from Honolulu authorities are that the manner in which they conducted themselves is a credit to our womanhood. NYA training in large-scale food preparation will also be of value in emergency situations. Men have always worked in the shops to supply man's needs in peacetime and war. But today, as increasing numbers of men are called to military service, young women must be ready to step into their places without loss of time. Months ago, the National Youth Administration, anticipating that need, began to prepare young women for jobs in war industries. Skilled workmen with long years of experience supervised the work and training of girls in NYA shops. The entire emphasis of the NYA training program is on practical work experience using modern production methods under the direction of men who know the requirements of industry. Employers in the war production industries are now making use of young women in handling small machine tools, such as small lathes, drill presses, and grinders. Young women have done especially well in those jobs requiring precision and a high degree of manual dexterity. Negro girls play an important part in the NYA training program and have made outstanding records in their shop work. Hundreds of girls are gaining experience and training in sheet metal work. Such training is essential for many jobs in aircraft and other war industries. In shops such as this, young women learn production methods through actual work. They have an opportunity to acquire skill in such jobs as cutting, bending, drilling, and soldering. <laughs>
Young women are being trained by the NYA in the field of communication. Hundreds are gaining experience through practical work in the repair and construction of radio receivers and transmitters and other communications equipment. A great deal of work has been done for the Army and Navy as well as for other war agencies. Other young women are gaining experience as operators of radio equipment and are ready to take places of responsibility in the maintenance of essential communications particularly during emergency periods. Some NYA girls are repairing army telephones and other communications equipment. These young women are employed by the National Youth Administration in New Haven, Connecticut, doing welding and sheet metal work in the construction of a flip buggy a piece of emergency apparatus for local fire department. This is an excellent example of the combination of useful production under industrial methods and the training of youth for war production, which characterizes all NYA work. In a period when every machine must count, the NYA is making its equipment serve two purposes, the training of young people for war industries and the production of goods which also serve the nation's needs. In this instance, as in many others, youth are gaining valuable training and the community is better prepared for emergencies. The passing of skills from father to son is well known in our American culture, but here is a case where brother shows sister how it is done. Included in the production of NYA machine shops are many orders for small Newton parts, boats, and spoons for the armed forces. Thus, NYA youth are already playing their part in war production while being trained for jobs in war industry. Inspection is a job for women's fingers. Carefulness checking at this stage is essential to the smooth functioning of the completed mechanism. Employers find young women especially capable in this type of work. Just as these parts, shaped and worked from rough materials, are now ready for use, NYA girls trained in productive work are at the nation's service.